Hey, what's up guys, Lego Kid here, and today in front of me we have set number 40580 and also called the Lego Blacktronic Cruiser. Now you can only get this set as a gift with purchase over $200 or more, so that is how I was able to get this set. This set also contains 356 pieces and along with two minifigures. So let's go ahead and begin the set review, starting off with the minifigs. So the first minifigure we have is the Blacktron Astronaut. Now, the only difference between this guy and the original Blacktron Astronauts is that the torso print is just colored in a brighter white here. But other than that, there's no new designs for the torso. At the back, he does have a black oxygen tank, and he also has a black helmet with the black visor piece. And as for his face printing, he has the same old classical Lego town and system smiley face print. And moving on to the second minifigure, we have a Blacktron robot. So first off, I love the use of the black blaster piece being used for the build of the robot's body. And he also has two arms, which you can have him hold a tool like this. Now, obviously, you can't twist the arms here, so you just have to have the robot um, hold the tool like this. Or you could twist his body like that, but that doesn't really work. So, honestly, I think this is a pretty cute little build for a robot to include to this set. And here's the build for the Blacktron Cruiser. Now, one of the play features with this model is that you can take it apart in not one, not two, but three different assemblies. So, if you want to take off this middle command module here, then you could just detach it from the front part of the ship. And you can also take off the back part of the ship as well. And you can connect the two together. And there you go. You have a smaller looking ship build. But anyways, starting off with the pilot area of the ship here. I like this translucent yellow windshield piece. But it's just not really good for the remake of this set. While the original set had like a translucent yellow um, car windshield piece I believe. But here it's just a little bit longer and it doesn't really fit well for the remake. But either way, pretty nice build. Um, inside it, there is a seat for the astronaut and there's also a control panel with the ship on the screen and also a few buttons. And right in front of that, there's also a storage compartment for holding a metal detector and maybe a few other tools if you want to. And on the sides of the ship, there are also two lasers here. And they also have the use of uh, Darth Maul's long lightsaber piece. And there's also two wings on the sides, which you can fold out like this. And now it's like a ship in flight. But anyways, um, at the back here are two of the new clip connection pieces from LEGO City. And there's also a sticker up here with an arrow. I guess this is showing to uh, open up the front part of the ship like this. I don't know why there's an arrow here, but um, it was part of the original set. Anyways, here is the build for the command module. Now, you're probably wondering, how do I open this up? Well, first off, you just lift up this um, roof part, which actually has a little laser cannon on it. And there's also another use of Darth Maul's uh, lightsaber piece. So you just lift up the roof, and you can also flip up the sides as well. And there you go. Here is the um, interior of the command module. So first off, there is another control panel with a bunch of buttons on it. Some red, mostly black. Um, and here is a seat for either the robot or the astronaut. And right behind the seat, there's also a safe filled with a bunch of Blacktron ingots, I believe. Um, I don't know what happened to the other one, but yeah, there's supposed to be, oh yeah, <laughs> it got stuck in there. So yeah, there's supposed to be two black ingots in this safe, and there's also a sticker on it with the Blacktron logo, and there's also two clips on the side for holding some tools if you want to put them there. Really like the design for this command module. Oh, yeah. Um, I really like the look for this command module, and I like how, if you want to, you can take this apart from the ship. And finally, here's the back part of the ship with the red booster, and there's also some side wings as well, which you can adjust the angle of just to make the ship look better and make it look like it's in flight or something. And there's also a sticker with the Blacktron logo as well. And here is the ship all put back together. So I really like the look for this ship here. 
It's definitely a classic remake, but there are some things about it that just stand out to me that don't really make it feel like a remake. Like first off with the windshield piece and also the length of the ship itself is pretty long. So that's kind of throwing me off, but still really nice model to get here. And this is a really nice uh, set idea to make a remake of. So anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the box art, the instruction booklet, and my final thoughts. And the box art here has the original backdrop from the original Blacktron cruiser set with the ship and the minifigures in the exact same places. At the front, here's all the set information. Now, one thing that's kind of thrown me off about this set is that it says it's 18 years and up. Now, usually that's just a suggested age limit, but as you guys can tell, I'm a little bit younger than 18 and I was able to fully build this set. I don't know, it's just kind of weird seeing this age limit to this set, but anyways, um, at the back there are some more action shots to this set. And for the instruction booklet, at the front here is the model of the Blacktron Cruiser, and there's also a little note on the front cover just explaining about how to organize the pieces, I guess. And at the back here are all of the bricks and pieces being listed. And at the very back cover, there's also another drawing for the Blacktron logo. So overall, I would say this is a really great promotional set to get. Not only that, but for older adult fans of LEGO who remember this classic LEGO set and finally getting a remake of it today. Yeah, really love this new remake for the original Blacktron Cruiser set. And not only that, but I really love the design for the spaceship model and the fact that you can also take it apart in different assemblies and all of the different features the ship comes with. And also the minifigures are great inclusions to the original set. So anyways, that is pretty much it for today's video. Please make sure to subscribe, like it, and stay tuned for more set reviews to come on the channel. And yeah, that is it for today's video, and I will see you all in the next one.